Today we'll continue to make prints from my Copenhagen trip in November 2021 and for today I have a frame with the Hasselblad uh, with the Porter 400 film at night made with a cable release and a tripod and this is one of the classical view of the Copenhagen but at night with the Christmas lights. I used to work in a lab coat but for now I really like this approach with the apron. Most importantly it's not really hot and it gives you special vibe and allow you to concentrate more on your craft. So let's start with the heating up chemistry and as always I bring in the chemistry to 35 degrees before I searching for the negative which I will print today. And meanwhile temperature in the water bath and inside the bottle stabilize. I can bring my film catalog and search for required page. As I mentioned in the previous videos, I store negatives in chronological order and it's a mixture of 120 and 35 film. This is negative number 2 from the same strip from 120 film and I still have a one negative more from the same evening in Copenhagen. I will continue with the loading film in a carrier and because I'm using universal carrier for 120 and 35 mm film I just need to line it up and put it inside the head. Let's turn on the pilot light and inspect the negative in enlarged form. As standard practice I'm trying to make frames even from each side and start with the focusing on the grain and inspect quality of the negative. Because I make this shot from the tripod I still have enough of exposure and a lot of sharpness. Because negative looks worth printing, let's continue with the color calibration and initial point for our test print. I set aperture around f11 and put diffuser on the lens. Starting with the cyan channel and 10 seconds exposure setting, I'm trying to match with my settings on a color head, intensity and put the needle in the zero position. And when the calibration is over for all three channels, I remove the sensitive head, set a lock on the aperture and remove diffuser filter and write down initial settings in my lab book. For test print I will use the bad batch of my paper and put the timer for 10 seconds and start with the initial test print. Development procedure for array for chemistry rather simple. You need to start with the color developer for 45 seconds and constantly rotate your drum in both directions. And when time is over put the chemicals back in the bottle and continue with the flix fix also rotating for 45 seconds. And when the development is done, you can open the drum and take a look if you have a good results with your test print. Because I make a corrections with my color calibrator from previous prints, at the moment my initial print relatively close or completely on top of the ideal spot and usually it's not so obvious if you can change something or not really. So you can only say it after drying the print and for my test, this print is extremely close to what I want to see, but some colors is probably a bit off. So I notice a little bit of cyan tint in the sky and small tint uh, in the boat cover here, which I will try to fix. But because the color cast is not so obvious, because rest of the picture actually looks really good and the buildings in the middle uh, and the lights and the main composition in color looks really good. So I will make two parts of the test print with this small portion with the bolt and I will put it in a three sections so I will try to change the cyan filter and move the magenta down. Because I'm using the same spot on the test printer it's much easier to understand in which direction you need to move because you're inspecting the small portion of the print and it's the same portion as always for different type of settings and after quick development for 45 seconds of color developer and mix fix you can open the bottle and check your first test strip with the different settings on the color and after applying the print on the wall I let it dry and you can intensify it with a hair dryer so it will take few minutes and you can write down all the settings what you change and as I said before for this test print I have a two different settings so I go back with the initial setting and change cyan channel after I change magenta channel. So I have a step of 5 in magenta channel and I have a step of 5 in cyan channel. 
because of magenta channel was completely mistake i choose the different setting for cyan channel and make a, another development with a bigger print and let's see if my corrections looks good or it's completely off and i cannot correct this color cast and it was in the picture initially so it's kind of a sky cast on the buildings on the full print you also you can inspect not only colors, you can inspect composition, your framing, you can inspect if everything is fit, what you expect to be in this frame, and you can check if you don't have any technical errors. And as I can see with this print, I have few technical problems. For example, this area have a too much exposure, and this is strange because I increase my cyan channel by 10 points, so I should have a less exposure. And my sky here looks a little bit tinted and I have a, the whole picture fade, some kind of a cyanish, darkish fade. And if you compare to the initial print, I don't have this tint there. And I check the settings on the photo head and settings of the aperture and time again, and don't find any problems with my photo head. So if you take a look here on this part of the boat, it looks really strange. And if you compare our test strip to the final print, the color is completely off and do not correspond to the same part of the print. And maybe it's not so obvious on YouTube here with the color, but this print is not really white. So it looks like a fogging of the paper or paper defect, so I decided to just reprint the same settings and take a look if I have any difference. Let's open the drum and check if I have a different result than previous. When you're opening the drum and remove the print from the drum, you need to be careful and do not touch the active surfaces because resin is not so stable in a wet state and while you're washing it, you can actually scratch it much easier than the final print. So I will put it in a wall for final drying, apply squeegee and quickly dry it with a hair dryer. And as you can see here, we have a little bit different tint. So. And because I have the same settings, it will be quite interesting to compare this kind of a portion of the print with the bolt to the previous print. But so far, I really like the result of this print. So it looks balanced, it looks like evening, and it's rendering the old Christmas lights in the bolts. And if I compare two prints, you can clearly see the difference in color. So on the left side, it's much more greener and it's kind of a strange tint and the paper is not so white, so it looks like a forked paper. So I will finalize these settings and make two more copies of the final print. For this procedure, I'm also running the same chemicals for color developer 45 seconds with a constant rotation and bleach fix for 45 seconds with a constant rotation. And after all development procedure, I try to wash it more carefully than usually to remove all residuals of the chemistry and try to not bend the print and wash it really carefully. And usually in my experience, my final prints, if I print more than three, five prints, colors looks really stable so it's not a problem of the chemical process itself or exposure it's just a problem of the paper and the quality of paper supplier so for all of these three prints i have a little bit of shift in color and you can see small defects in the fogging of the paper but because i printed in completely in darkness it's just a paper problem but this is a positive and negative side of the hand printing so you never get the same print again and each person who gets the print get a unique one. And that's it for today and thank you for watching.